Hey Mojoholics, welcome to Inside Watch Mojo episode 9. As you can see, Ash is back and he's brought with him some good news. What's the good news? Yeah, you scared me. I was like, what was I going to say? Here's what I was going to say. We crossed 7 million subscribers last week, I think Monday or Tuesday, so 7 million thank yous. That's crazy. Um, so Ash, I made some jokes about where you were last week, but uh, where were you actually last um, week? Um, I was down in Florida and then I took a four day Disney cruise. Disney cruise, that's yeah. cool. Uh, I've never done a cruise, do you prefer a cruise or resort? Uh, cruises are great. Uh, I, I feel like I paid you know, a lot of money to watch a four day commercial for Disney, but that notwithstanding, no, <laughs> it was great. Disney, fantastic uh, cruise experience. I still think I'm more of a resort guy. I feel like if you're just tired, want to go chill, nothing beats a resort. But you know, the cruise was fantastic and I highly recommend it. Uh, this is not a plug, they're not <laughs> paying for this. I'm just, it was, it was great, it was a lot of fun. Okay, speaking of Disney, uh, do you have a favorite Disney character? Um, we've done uh, so many Disney We've done clips. so many. I, would, I mean, this will tell you everything you need to know about my management style, but I would say Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I got nothing. I can't even respond to that. Um, uh, what about preference? I guess you've kind Who's of Who's your favorite character? Mike, I think the genie. Okay. Yeah. But um, do you have a preference between like new Disney and old Disney? But you kind of answer as that impressed way. as I am with new Disney, and it is very impressive how much uh, you know it's evolved. I mean, I grew up watching old Disney, so I would say probably my preference is old Disney. I kind of what do like, you qualify as old Disney? Uh, circa around Toy Story, that's kind of like does oh. that make sense? What do you? Qualify? Well, I think the actual like they have a cutoff, and it's the Little Mermaid, which is eighty nine. Okay. Yeah, definitely than before. I mean, that's what I grew up watching. But yeah. Toy Story is ninety five. I understand, but I would have thought more around then. But all right, yeah, it's, well, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, because Toy Story was one of the first that it just looked different. It was like yeah. you know. So speaking of characters, we had Mike on the show last oh. week, and he's quite a character. Mike is quite a character. Uh, did you get a chance to see it? I did, I saw it, our ship, we disembark Friday and we publish uh, Inside Watch Mojo on Friday, so I, I caught it and I thought it was great. So Mike is a character, so <laughs> I've been trying to, you know, kind of trick him into appearing on the show, um, because also he manages all of our freelance writers, so that was long overdue and I, I, I'd been pushing for us to do a do's and don'ts mm -hmm. of how to write for Watch Mojo. And I did think it was uh, very entertaining, and mainly I thought it was very productive. We got a lot of interested applicants. And like I said, the first time when I said, oh, we're looking for writers, we had everyone, including those who don't speak or write English, uh, apply. So this was like a very, very like concerted funneling process right. where we got a lot of, um, you know, we got a lot of good applicants uh, submitting. And this is like what I like about Inside Watch, uh, Watch, Watch Mojo, which is not just you get to see different staffers. So on that note, um, this was kind of the plan, we just wanted to build it up, simmer, simmer it uh, slowly but surely. Slow burn, slow burn. I'll, I'll be on every other week at most, and then you get to see different people, uh, which I think generally the feedback has been wonderful. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Cool. Um, what, I mean, did you read the comments? Because I, I, I always read the comments. I like the comments. It's addictive. I don't have the time to read the comments like I used to. And that's also another reason why we do Inside Watch, Watch Mojo. It gives us a good two-way communication with the audience. I know there's a lot of subscribers who are added to our wonderful channel each month. And let's say if they were to subscribe on a Saturday, they see seven days worth of top ten lists. And then Friday they see uh, you know, your attractive face and this mug and they're like, what the hell is this? And this is really just a, a more seam, a streamlined, seamless way to communicate because I do read the comments. It's just impossible to read all of them and, and you know, engage with you guys. So this gives us a good way to cover some housekeeping items. Um, Speaking of which, I think something you mentioned was kind of what happened to What's Your Mojo and yes. the other one? So we addressed this when we launched. This is episode nine of Inside Watch Mojo. We covered this in the first one. So one of them is we are expanding into studios, bigger space to film, do more. So expect different kinds of shows, experiments here and there, pilots. That's all too uh, forthcoming. Party. But um, What's Your Mojo was something that we all played a part in producing, conceptualizing. I was a big fan of it as we were thinking of it. We did 50 episodes, including the, um, the final blooper. So big fan, but I think, you know, because it was a bit disruptive production-wise, um, 
And frankly, we started, I think, when we had a million subs, and then when, we, when it went on a hiatus at the end of 2014, we had something like almost or over six million subs, and it was generating the same amount of views. And you know, once in a while, we'll get a, we'll get a Mojoholic who's like, get over yourselves, guys. Why are you doing these shows? Just do your top tens. We are. You know, we used to do one top ten list a day. Now we do four on weekdays and five on weekends. These shows are just one bonus in order for you guys to tell us what we're doing well and poorly and for us to cover some items. But the one thing, the main difference that st stood out for me between Inside Watch Mojo and What's Your Mojo was, What's Your Mojo was a lot more basically fluff entertainment, and it was good. I mean, you know, we, we, we liked it, and a lot of you did. But I think Inside Watch Mojo is a bit more, there's a bit more meat on the bones, and you not only get to see different staffers, but you do see, um, you, you do get to contribute a bit more directly. Uh, and that's one thing, next week, uh, Dan will be on, maybe, if he said he would, unless he bails <laughs> or something. Um, so that's one thing. Next week, you'll see Dan. He'll be sitting in this chair. And one other thing you guys like is the comment of the week. We'll bring that up. It'll be comment of the week and or email of the week, because we get a lot of those as well. So that's coming back later on today. Okay. As always, we're taking your suggestions for this show and for everything we do. So, speaking of suggestions, head over to the Suggest page and help us out with these. Top 10 K-pop songs, top 10 best educational video games, and top 10 medieval-themed video games. Well, I got nothing to say about any of those, as usual. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would, but nothing really meaningful to add yeah. either, so we could move along. So, what are you working on this week? Uh, I've started looking at uh, the movie Street Fights, and the one that I think of is Anchorman 2, which just went on and on and on. It was kind of funny until then it wasn't. And you know what I love? One of my favorite all-time quotes. Well, obviously that RV scene is like the greatest scene yeah. ever, ever in any movie. But that, that uh, <laughs> line by, by uh, Will Ferrell when he goes, you know, when he was blind, he's like, do you know what it feels like to take 10 gulps of a ketchup bottle thinking it's a bottle of Chateau Neuf du Pop? Anyway, it's just, I guess you have Spoiler to alert. Sorry, well, yeah, if that's like the least, <laughs> that's like number 55 on spoiler alerts on Watch Mojo this yeah, week that's alone. True. We're trying to get better at that, but. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh. My, my grandmother started watching Downton Abbey, and my sister's boyfriend told her that somebody died, and it's the first time she's ever watched a show. And I was, like, I was so mad at him. So if you're wondering why I went on a Disney cruise, I have two daughters, uh, six and four. My four-year-old, uh, I finally was like reading her Frozen. She obviously oh, knew yeah. it. I had not seen it. And as I'm reading her the book, she was like, oh, this guy's the bad guy. This guy. I was like, could you and not spoil this for spoiler. me? that's a huge spoiler. I was, she ruined Spoilers. it. Spoilers. Yep. Anyway, right. not that any of that was relevant. I'm working on TV shows based on books, which they're actually more than you think. I mean, Game of Thrones is the obvious one. It's probably the number one. It's another do? spoiler. This show is not sorry. Well, that, yeah. But uh, Dexter is one, and I started reading. Dexter is one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I started reading one of the Dexter books, and I don't want to crap all over it too much. But the book was terrible. I ruined Dexter for myself by I just started watching it randomly, and I, I, it was season four or two. I don't even know, and I just wanted to kind of know where I was. So I went on the Wikipedia page and I read the whole thing, and it kind of. And I would have so gone. That was too. Need to watch yeah. It anymore. yeah. So uh, last week our contest on Twitter was a bit sad because it was in honor of the uh, passing of Leonard Nimoy. We asked you guys to send us your favorite Star Trek moments. And uh, I do love my tribbles, but uh, we had to pick a Spock moment, I think. It just makes sense. Sue so Nathan Brown, also known as Nothing the Man, said the episode Mirror Mirror, seeing an evil version of Spock fight Captain Kirk was great. Evil Spock has a goatee, by the way. Anyway, uh, don't forget to email us at contest at watchmojo.com to claim your prize and send us your shipping info. Now, this week, in honor of our 7 million subs, we'll be giving away seven t-shirts or bags. Uh, whatever you uh, want. Whatever. Uh, and or bags. Bag of blo broken glass and nails as well. <laughs> Bag of glass. Uh, all you have to do is tweet us a message about your ideal vacation. What's your ideal vacation? We already told the Mojoholics what you like food-wise, so they can go grocery shopping for you. And <laughs> Get you food. So, what's your favorite destination? Uh, destination. No I've favorite. Any kind of. Well, whatever. just like lying on a beach and doing nothing and having people wait on me. Probably. <laughs> Not Guys, that it's happened, but I presume it'd be great. Get in line. Uh, if I had more time, I'd think of something better. Anyway, so send us a tweet about your ideal vacation. Uh, don't forget the hashtag #WNQuestion, and next week we will pick seven winners. 
Uh, at least. At, oh, at least. Okay, there you go. So this is where we'll be kind of mentioning the comments of the week going forward and any other kind of housekeeping whatever. And so I know that you had some things that you wanted to talk about. Yeah, uh, do you want to start or shall oh, I? Oh, I can start. I can start. Go. Cool. So we had, uh, I had an email actually from JC this week regarding our top 10 potato chips video. Uh, this was not a video that I thought was going to end up being controversial, but what are you going to do? Um, so his problem was that we mentioned Doritos. And as I am aware, Doritos are corn chips. They are not made from potatoes and therefore should not qualify on a list of potato chip flavors. However, I would argue that if we did not mention it, there would be more people being like, where are Doritos? Because Doritos are delicious. Yeah, just to add to that, two points. One, it's not like anybody, and we did discuss this, but it's not like anybody is eating chips thinking, this is, I'm getting my fill of potatoes for whatever yeah. vitamins come in potatoes, right? It's, it's definitely like a, a snack. Um, that's one. And two, in 2012, 13, 14, well, 2012 and 13, when we really start to focus on top tens, I would tell the team, look, we have to establish credibility and we have to be really anal and careful with criteria and we can't just kind of shoot ourselves in the foot by making that decision. But then, if, and we, I think to a large extent, we got that. People now respect us, they see how much work that goes into the videos and we're generally right. Our error rate is pretty low, although errors will happen with any, anything. But then if you fast forward to 2014 and 15, now we are seen as one of the leading producers of countdown lists. So we can take that freedom to say, look, it's about consumer behavior. If you see top 10 chip flavors or even, even potato chip flavors and you start going through them and Doritos are not in, it's, you know, it's kind of saying, it's kind of like saying, you know, people expect to see it there. It's like saying you had sex with someone, but that someone's not in the room. That doesn't count, right? Okay, that's a bad analogy. I should, have, I should prep my analogies a bit better. But I, my only point is you can't do that list and talk about, you know, salt and vinegar and barbecue and, you know, not mention Dorito uh, Doritos. Yeah, I mean, it's basically weird. it's a fun list. The that's idea the was that we didn't want to over uh, analyze what we were doing. Um, also there are potato chips flavored with nacho, nacho cheese. The entry was about nacho cheese, so... True. I mean, I, I also feel that his, uh, his qualm was a bit... Well, JC, uh, I was gonna mention a comment of the week that I found yeah. a bit funny, uh, but JC also emailed us regarding uh, why is our suggest tool not in an app? It's true, it's, it's mobile friendly, but it's, you gotta zoom in, zoom out. It is a bit of a pain look. The, the success of the suggest tool caught even us off guard, even though we were very bullish about it, we earlier on, we've addressed this, I think we addressed it in like What's Mojo, what, Watch Mojo FAQ episode one or two, which was what's up with our apps. We were kind of thinking of building this comprehensive app that showcased some of our videos and the suggestions, but I think JC's email was spot on that said, you don't need to combine the two into one big mishmash. Just have one with videos if you want and have a separate one with suggest. And he's right, he's like, don't insult us by then giving us a light suggest tool app that doesn't have the main functionality we want. And he's right, this is the purpose of the show. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Yes, special um, thanks to JC for the great- JC always sends good emails. Yeah, it's great, it was great. I mean, we do read as many comments. One comment I found funny, I wouldn't call this the comment of the week, it's kind of self-serving, but you'll see why there's something in it again for the Mojoholics. Um, as we were actually on the cruise, still at the port in, uh, in Florida, um, Dan sent out an email internally because I think Typhlosion for president in the top 10 greatest novels said, number one, of course, has to be Course to Success by, by me, which was the first <laughs> yeah, book I wrote. Yeah, you stole my joke. Sorry? You stole my joke. Oh, was it? Yeah, okay. you didn't see, oh, we did a Facebook exclusive where I was reading it and I no, said, I sorry, wonder if sorry. this is gonna be on the list. I do watch some of those Facebook exclusives, but I'm also pretty busy. Anyway, I thought that was pretty funny, but here's the thing. So, um, not to sound narcissistic, and I swear to you, I'm not generally vain or narcissistic, but do you, when's your birthday? Just the day, you don't need to give me the year if you don't June. want to. June, okay. Do you look at a year only from December, uh, from January to December, or do you look at it like June to June? Do you ever look I guess look it depends back? what it is. Okay, fair but, enough. Like if you're saying like, how was this year in your life, I'd look from my birthday to my birthday, Okay, I guess. so as like an entrepreneur, or maybe just as a human, I look at both. Like I obviously look at January to December like other normal human beings, but sometimes March to March, I'll just kind of look at what happened during the year. So my birthday is this week, but the only point is in light of um, that comment, and just having had the year, we had a really, really good year at Watch Mojo. So when I look back at where we were last year, and frankly, when I look back at where we were two years ago, 
Um, we've really, really had an unbelievable growth spurt going from 100,000 subs, to, or a bit more than that, to 7 million subscribers. So this weekend, just as a special treat to the Mojoholics, on top of the seven t-shirts and caps and all that good stuff. Um, if you want a free copy of either one of my books, it's free. There's a link right here. You get to download it. You don't have to upload it. It's the birthday it. special. Yeah, it's the extra birthday special. <laughs> no, but also uh, Watch Mojo will be publishing a book at some point in the next six to 12 months. So I'll be discussing that a bit more right, in, with the whole staff. Um, so if you want to also get a shout, you know, a heads up when that book is ready, uh, you can just click something. We're not going to spam you ever. We're not going to sell your email. We're not going to do anything other than just eventually say, hey, six months ago, you showed an interest in the Watch Mojo book. You can get it here. So that's that. Uh, read them. There's no self-interest here in getting you not to spend time on the Watch Mojo channel and actually read a book, uh, an ebook. But if you want a copy of either ebooks or both ebooks, you can. Actually, having his books is worth it just for the author pick alone. Oh, oh, I, I, I will add a link to that on my Twitter. <laughs> that was the first edition of the paperback, of course, to success. It sold over a thousand, co two thousand copies. There's, there was actually a second edition of both my books, so they did sell back in the day. There you go. Um, yeah, I will. I will. The pick. I will share that pick. I have no problem. <laughs> so we good? You uh, you good? Done. Back cool. on land. See ya. That's great. We'll see you next time.